welcome back to our channel. This is ASMR to the G2. Thank you for joining me today. If you are new to this channel, hi and welcome. I would love it if you subscribed. If you have already subscribed, well, welcome back guys. <laughs> I would love it if other people would subscribe to make our little family here on this corner of the internet a little bit bigger. So, before we begin, I just want to say a few things. I'm filming in the afternoon. It is July 9th, and it is about no, a little afternoon. Um, so it's during the day. I have not opened my windows yet because the city is going to pass to clean the streets and they're going to get really loud. But any background noise you hear right now, that is my fan. I have to have it on, guys. I'm sorry. It is currently 36 degrees Celsius, so that's super, super hot. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but I can do a quick calculation if you guys want. Give me a second. And I will do that right now. Let's do Celsius. Celsius to Fahrenheit. So if it is currently 36 degrees, it's 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, guys, pretty, pretty hot here. Summer is in full swing. We had a major heat wave last week where it reached over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, about 46, 40, 45, 46 degrees Celsius. It was super, super hot. And I absolutely hate the humidity. Anyways, um, I just wanted to say that my fan is on. It's next to me. I can't turn it off or else I will die. <laughs> Also, if you guys would like more ASMR videos from me, I do have another channel in Greek. I will put the link down below. Um, if you don't mind not understanding what I'm saying, but you just want to hear the whispers, I would love for you to join my Greek channel as well. Today's video, let me move this notepad so I can show you the page we're on. Today's video, we are going to be learning Greek. We had started it a few months ago, and I would like to continue today. Today we are going to be learning everything about the kitchen. Ikusina. Ikusina, the kitchen. So if you want to just take a quick look at what is on the picture, you have some children. Some of them are up to no good. You have a little dog. You have a cat. You have the father doing the dishes. The mom is outside hanging the laundry to dry the clock you have the washer you have the stove you have dishes the vacuum broom garbage food plates all kinds of stuff here so because you can't see the whole page because of my setup what i've done is i've written all the words in greek already here on this notepad and what we'll do is we will translate them in English together okay so also I forgot to mention if you hear me sli sniffling it's because of my allergies I am super allergic to my cat um, everybody's telling me to get rid of him but I refuse because I am I love him and I'm attached to him and he's part of this family so I'm just gonna have to suffer and hopefully my immune system will get stronger and get used to him it's already getting better. So, let's begin. Ikusina. That translates to the kitchen. Ikusina. The kitchen. Next, we have psihio. Psihio. In English, this is the refrigerator. Refrigerator. Psihio. Refrigerator. Potiria. 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 This in English. 
English is glasses, like you want to get a glass of water. Potiria, one potiri, many potiria. So one glass, many glasses. Next we have roloi, roloi, roloi. This is a clock. Translation. 
translation from Greek to English, elektriki skupa means the electric broom. Electric broom, which we call a vacuum. Next we have nerohitis. Nerohitis. This is the sink, the kitchen sink. Nerohitis sink. Pirunya. 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 These are forks. So, piruni is one. One fork. Many is pirunya. Forks. Forks. Next we have porta. Porta. Porta is the door. Porta is door. It's very similar to French. In French it's la porte. La porte. Porta. Porte. In English it's door. Next we have xesconopano. Xesconopano. And this is the duster. Duster. Xesconopano is a duster. Scamni. Scamni. Scamni is a stool that we sit on. I don't know if you can see this one over here. This is a scamni, which is the stool. Majeria. Majeria in English is knives. One majeri, two majeria. Majeria, knives. I apologize for my son. I'm gonna kill him. Just kidding, I'm not. He knows I'm recording, and I guess he forgets. He gets so excited when he's playing with his friends. <clears throat> Verniki. Verniki. This is some kind of spray varnish. I'm not sure if they mean um, like a spray to clean, like a cleaning spray. I'm not sure. <laughs> Next we have trapezi. Trapezi. And this is the table. Trapezi is table. Table. Globos. Globos. Globos is a light bulb. Globos, light bulb. Kutalakya. <laughs> Kutalakya. <laughs> These are teaspoons. Oh my god, I wrote it on the wrong one. My bad. <coughs> So one kutalaki, two kutalakia. Flitzanya. Flitzanya. I'm gonna write it here since I made a mistake. It's mugs. Like coffee mugs, right? So flitzanya, mugs. Last on this page we have spirta. Spirta. Spirta is matches. Matches. Spirta matches. And we have a few more on the next page. Okay, next we have Clithi. Clithi. Clithi is a key. Storage or storage. 
Skifuthiki, a cupboard or storage. I think it's mostly a storage because they store all of their brooms, mops, ironing boards, iron. So I would say it's a storage. Next we have Furza. Furza. And a Furza in English is a brush. So it can be a Furza for your hair, a brush for your hair, hairbrush. Or it can be a brush to clean, Furza to clean, brush, Furza. Sconi plisimatos. Sconi plisimatos. This is detergent. So like a laundry. Laundry detergent. I made a mess of that. <laughs> laundry detergent. If you translate it in like a proper translation, scony is um, like dust. Dust. And plisimatos is like wash, like washing dust, which is like the detergent, but it's like the one that's granular. It's not the liquid, it's a powder. That's the word I'm looking for, sorry. Powdered. Um, powdered detergent. That's what it is. <laughs> so sorry. Siderostra. Siderostra. Siderostra is the ironing board. The ironing board is at the Siderostra. Siderostra ironing board. Next we have Piata. Piata. These are plates. In singular, it's Piato. Enna. Piato, one plate, many plates, piatta, plates, farasi, farasi is a dustpan, farasi, dustpan, that's what it's called, right, when you sweep the house and then you want to clean up all the dust, you use the dustpan to put it in, dustpan. Is stofa. 
I'm not sure if that is even a proper word. Sorry, I hit the microphone. Or if it's like a Gringlish word where we take words in Greek and we try we create them in English, which we do very often here in Canada. So, cuisine is a stove. We call it stofa. And that brings us to the end of our list, everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's Greek lesson. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.